For a small photography business like ours, it seemed like the COVID-19 outbreak was going to wreak havoc on our year. All our weddings this summer were postponed, smaller shoots put on hold indefinitely. We had no idea where our income was going to come from, or if this ordeal was going to end anytime soon. Of course, it wasn't just the photography industry. Many businesses were forced to lay off employees, shut down, or quickly adapt to try to make things work. But all things considered, I think we found ourselves on the more fortunate end of things. We were eager for a new project to put our minds to, so we came up with a plan to help some beloved local restaurants. Think I got the chance? So we put the word out on Instagram, asking friends and family for three local restaurants that needed some help during these hard times. Yeah, that's everything. The plan was to order takeout from each restaurant, bring it back to our home, and take some tasty looking advertising photos, which they could use on social media to promote their products. Oh my god. I went the hardest I could. I don't know why. And after the shoot, we would message them on Instagram and surprise them with the photos. Completely free, with no strings attached. This is our time. Step one, drop Isla off with the grandparents. Where are you going? Hey, get back here. Oh my, look at this big girl. This my Step two, order a bunch of takeouts. Could I get a mac and cheese? Could I get the Vancouver bundle? Um, three of your signature bowls and also the lunch special of the day. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye. So we just ordered from the first restaurant, which is a Vietnamese restaurant. Gonna go pick up the food and get started. Let's go get the food. Yeah. Let's do it. Step three, go pick up the food. This restaurant's the easiest because it's literally like a two minute walk from our place. Thank you so much, I'm hungry. We got the goods. Everything we get smells so good. This is the worst part about shoots. The fact that we can't eat it, and we only get to eat it when it's cold. No, I'm just kidding, it's still good. Step four, try your hardest not to eat the food. Ooh. Delicious food. What's this? Gosh. Spicy fried chicken, holy. Everything looks awesome. Perfect food. Photograph. So, Typically, we'll know exactly what the product looks like. We'll design like a set around it, design the lighting and all those things. We'll go to location and then we'll build the set and take photos. Uh, but this time, we're not actually working with the restaurant, so we don't have their restaurant props to use or anything like that. So we have to come up with our own dishware that will hopefully look good in the scene. Um, we're using this space over here by the window. Just using this natural light in the room that we have available and just make the best of it. And on to the fun part. One, Step five, two, shoot away. Two, three. All right, so we got our food plated up. We're gonna start with them in the packaging and then we're gonna move to plating it up and trying to, I guess, make it look nicer. But for now, I actually think it looks great in the packaging. Good. Wouldn't you say so? Because I'm really scared to plate this one. This looks really hard to take apart and put back together. True. But Maybe. At least we got the sauce on the side. Our goal was to get as many usable shots from the menu as possible, showing combinations of items you can order together, as well as the delicious details. All right, so we just finished getting the photos done inside the takeout packaging, and now it's time to plate it up for a couple photos, get some nice detail shots, and incorporate some of the restaurant colors, like blues and greens, that are prevalent in the restaurant, and it kind of goes along more with the theme. So, onwards to those photos. So I get this fun job of deconstructing 
the meal and hopefully not screwing it up. Feels like with every shoot we do, we learn a new skill. Not bad, hopefully that looks okay. And hats off to Lex, she did a great job replating the food. Back to the shoot, we did our best to continue getting a large variety of images. Incorporating movement wherever possible. And of course, saving our most ambitious idea for last. We are on to our final shot. It is a little bit of a trickier one. We have our two poke bowls and we're going to use some saran wrap, put some toppings on top of it, and throw it up in the air and hopefully get a really cool shot of the bowls look like it's exploding out some toppings. So yeah. we're experimenting. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh my God. <sighs> I feel really stupid about that now. I don't know why I went so hard. I went the hardest I could. I don't know why. Three, two, one, go. Well, at least we're having fun, so. Three, two, one, go. Hey! Thank God, my God. All right, so I really hope that that was worth it because we got a shitload of cleaning up to do. You gotta take the risk. You gotta, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Mm -hmm. For that extra special shot? Mm -hmm. Why not? It's only a mess. Why not? Step six, clean up the giant mess. That's a wrap, we did it. Yeah, we have so much food. And step seven, enjoy all the food. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> all right, so uh, we finished the shoot yesterday. Uh, we were super tired, so I didn't get to say this, but we're super happy with how the images turned out thus far. Obviously, got to edit them, put them together, um, try to find what kind of looks I want for each set of images. Really excited to give them to each restaurant. Um, really excited to see what they say. This has uh, been a pretty cool project to work on. A lot harder than I think we thought it would be to get product images in our house without doing any uh, crazy setups or like using a studio or anything like that. Um, just using what floors we have, tables we have. Obviously we can't really go to stores and buy things right now. So a little bit tricky on that front but I think what we came up with was really cool, um, especially the poke shoot. I thought that turned out really well. All right, so just finished up the edit last night. Really happy with how everything turned out. Now we get to deliver them, send them to each restaurant, and I'm excited to see what they say. They have no idea the photos are coming, so it should be interesting. Although we were excited, we still felt pretty nervous sending the images. Now we wait. All right, all right, all right, all right. We had no idea if they were going to receive the message or even like the photos. But thankfully, the replies were all positive. All right, uh... Couldn't have asked for a better response than that. That was uh, pretty amazing. Definitely made me feel really good about the whole project. Um, was worried about it for a while, was kind of waiting for a response, not sure if they were gonna appreciate it or care about it or whatever, but responses like that just make these projects so meaningful. So that was really cool. All right guys, this has been a really great project to work on for us. Um, we felt it was just really nice to be able to put all this energy towards helping others. And yeah, it's just something totally out of the norm for us and it's just really cool. Yeah, so it was really great hearing back from the businesses and they had awesome things to say about the work that we did. So we really hope that they can use it and help promote their business. And other than that, make sure you guys go check out these businesses. Um, we tried their food for the takeout and we absolutely loved it. So if you're in the Vancouver or Richmond area, definitely go check them out. Um, 
you won't regret it. And yeah, stay safe out there guys, and we'll see you in the next one.